Yeah. All right, Detroit Lions fall to the Cleveland Browns 13 to 10. And once again, coaching uh Dan Campbell is literally incompetent. And uh, you know, he made some dumb decisions down the stretch, man. The dumbest decision that he made today was when they got down there for that last touchdown, when in the last the last drive in the red zone, he kicked the field goal. He don't know when to go for it and when not to go for it. That's the issue with him. Like, he don't know what he's doing. This is why you don't hire people who don't have experience, bro. Shut up and down. He doesn't have experience. He doesn't have the experience to be coaching any football teams. He doesn't have the competence to be coaching the football team. Even the pal of Pop Warner team, he's very incompetent. But check out Detroit Lions post-game reaction playlist, Detroit Lions talk, talk playlist, more videos like this. Um, but uh, you see they lost 10 to 13. And, he, you know, he didn't want to put blog in. Everybody said he should have put blog in. Some people weren't even aware blog, aware blog was still on the team. And he didn't play blog in, and Tim Boyle was atrocious. 15 for 23, 77 yards, two interceptions. And we all know at least David Blog can rush. He can run. Tim Boyle didn't have a rushing attempt. You know, it just – Dan Campbell was an idiot, bro. I, I can't stress it enough, bro. He is literally – he may legally be retarded. Real talk, he that stupid to me. Like, you literally been dressing David Blog all year. Tim Boyle just came off IR. Like, what are you doing? Tim Boyle threw 13 uh, touchdowns his two college career between Connecticut and Division II, Eastern Washington, whatever it was, and 26 picks. He threw 26 picks in college between 16 games and 12 or 16 games, literally. And what did he do today? He threw two picks. Don't get it. Don't get it. Don't get it. Don't get it. I don't understand it. But Dan Campbell, he said, ooh, let's start him. Remember, he'd been out with a hurt, with whatever it was, a hurt finger. All season, and you put him in. I swear Dan Campbell is the stupidest coach we had since the idiot Marty Morningweg. He might be stupider than Marty Morningweg. Took the, took the win instead of the ball. I'm telling you, I don't even know where Detroit Lions be finding these coaches at, bro. Like, dude, this dude is an idiot, bro. You get down there, and then you get a ball back to Cleveland like you like the defense ain't tired. And then you don't get the ball back. I don't get it, bro. Literally, bro, I don't understand him, bro. You know, he should have switched out the quarterback. LeVar Arrington was begging him to, to get uh, Tim Boyle out of there. You know what Dan Campbell did? Oh, kept him in there. And people, you know. People talk about, well, we don't have the players to win the battle. You could have won this football game. It's just the coaching ain't there. You know, Aaron Glenn is more competent than him, and then he takes the playbook away from Anthony Lynn instead of benching Jerry Goff, instead of benching Tim Boyle and going with the guy who actually threw 64 touchdowns in college, who actually uh, it, it brings some mobility. You know? Like, what is he What is he watching, bro? Man, like I said before, fire him. This is another game coaching loss. You can say the quarterback position lost this game. Another game, but like I said, this dude threw for 77 yards. And he damn near outplayed Baker Mayfield. He damn near played the same. Baker just threw a couple more passes downfield. Then DeAndre Swift had 14 carries and 136. But then again, they not like he had one, he had a 57 yard run. Cool. That changed, but it's not enough. It's not enough, bro. Literally, it's not enough. He had three catches for zero, for zero yards. Two, it's just not enough, man. And then Baker was sacked one time. Boyle was a sack once, but it's just not enough, bro. Not enough. I keep saying it's not enough. And it's sad. The defense has been getting turnovers all year. They've been getting the turnovers, man. And, and it's just frustrating, bro, because, you know, with a competent coach, you can win football games. Honest truth, with a competent coach, we know we can win a football game. I say it again. With a competent coach, and Dan Campbell's a, a, a dummy. I can't stress it. Why would you kick a field goal knowing you may never, the way the offense play, you may never get back down there uh, again? And you didn't, you idiot. He don't know when to go for it and don't who want to go for it, bro. Bro, he definitely the dullest, uh, dullest, dullest knife in the, in the, uh, in, in the drawer. He definitely done, bro. And then, like I said before, man, Tim Pat, Tim Boyle hadn't he had been 
all he had been on IR all fucking year until like Friday. All year he'd been on IR. This guy, he threw for 15 yards, three for four. And this is the, the dummy you picked to, 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 to come in and run your fucking off. Man, Dan Campbell is dumb. The only reason he got this damn job is privilege, white privilege. I said it. He's an idiot. He's a grade A dummy. I don't even care to talk about the game. Let's talk about how stupid he is. Your average Lion fan, someone who don't even watch football, I know he dumb. No, no way, no way he should get it. He should, he should be fired right now. I'll pay this nigga. I'll do a gun for him. We'll pay his money. Get out of here, man. And Brad Holmes just as stupid. Hold on, they doing some shit. They updated it. Brad Holmes just as stupid for bringing these stupid quarterbacks in. Oh, Tim Boyle got some. Oh, oh he got a big arm. Like shit, I seen more balls in the dirt than anything. Oh, oh Tim Boyle, he he's a folk he's a folk tale. Oh, he he's a great quarterback. Oh, look at Tim Boyle. He was throwing these deep passes in, in training camp when Jared Goff wasn't throwing them. He was teaching Jared Goff to throw the deep, but man, leave it up to the Detroit Lions to find quarterbacks worse, worse than Jared Goff. Wasting somebody prime and DeAndre Swift. You know what I'm saying? Swift, Swift, Swift it didn't even look like he had 136 yards rushing watching today. And then on fourth down, on fourth and or was it third and inches, they run a fullback dive. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then they had another uh, third and short situation where they, late in the game, where in the third or fourth, fourth is, they ran off tackle with DeAndre Swift. We've seen DeAndre Swift get fucking stopped on short yardage all year. Why will we call that play? They said, well, if he can't get four for one going north and south, let's get him going east and west. Idiots. Stupid. Stupid. And guy with Inabuchi ran the ball great last week. Guess how many carries he had this week? None. You got you didn't play with Inabuchi, even though you know Jamal Williams didn't look 100 percent should have played Inabuchi. All right. He was good enough to get Jamal Williams another week uh, another week off. And then you played Tim Boyle, and then you don't pull him. He trash. Trash. He still don't have more yards and you know. David Blog had more yards career than Tim Boyle in, in, in his first game. I ain't even looked. I, I, I can bet you right now David Blog had more than 77 yards his first game as an undrafted rookie. I can guarantee you, bro. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm going to put it on the screen. I haven't even looked. I guarantee you. Come on, hold on. Let's get this game all going. Hold on. Let me get it. Hold on. <laughs> Can we get the game log? Hold on. Let me see. Mm. Oh no. Here we go. So uh, week 13 versus the Chicago Bears. He had 280 yards. His first start, I believe. Here. Come on. We talking about... We got a... We, man, we got a madman. Just like that the former president. We got a man, madman as our head coach. Here you go, right here. I don't even remember the game. But look at it. He lost Chicago 20-24. He came in. Got it with his first game. As an undrafted rookie, 22 completions, 38 attempts, 280. Come on. You got to be kidding me, bro. And you starting Tim Boyle who threw 26 touchdowns between Connecticut and Division I? Oh, my gosh. You, you can't make this up, bro. You can't make this up. You can't. You can't. I don't even know where the touchdown the interceptions at. Whatever it was. You can't make it up. He's never had a game of 77 plus uh 
77 yards thrown, bro. Never. I don't even know the number. Uh, maybe I'm in the wrong. Like, this 2019. Yes, yeah, the year Stafford got injured with the Saints game, man. Oh, it was Green Bay. I forget. He played the Saints, too. Remember, they was going to buy him. A, uh, no, he had to beat Green Bay to get the truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. You know, and you know, you know what they say about being a great, like, basketball player? You know, one of the best things to do is just be able to make the simple play. Let's so make Isaiah Thomas and, and, and Jason Kidd so great. Making a simple play. And the coach can't make can't – make, you know, he can't make a simple decision, bro. Tim Boyle, you – this is how the Lions operate, bro. If they like you, they can put you in a position to pay you and keep you around. They like Tim Boyle. It's a likable guy. But Tim Boyle, I don't give a fuck if his whole family was there. They, they rose from the dead. All his ancestors was there. I don't care. David Blaw gave us the best chance to win. And we're losing game off coaches. Was there a lot of penalties and – personal fouls and little dumb penalties and a lot of bad pass interference calls absolutely but that's we see that every week you had a golden opportunity to win a game bro and and then campbell got to be on the hot seat come thanksgiving and also they caught a break who they play, who they play on thanksgiving chicago justin justin fields got injured today rib injury come on don't they play uh, uh chicago and they gonna find a way to lose that game because Dan Campbell's an idiot. He is a legit idiot. David Blog was the clear choice. If you don't think so, you dumb too. And I said what I said. It's not because David Blog arm. What he is mobile and he can throw the football a little bit. Tim Will had a good pocket all day. They kept Miles Garrett in. Say what you want to say about Decker and Sewell. They kept Miles Garrett and Jackson had a dumb penalty. They kept Miles Garrett and Jadavion Clowney and Mac Wilson and all them jokers off him today. Dave, come on, man. And if Jared Goff played, it had been a healthy Jared Goff, it had been the same shit. Jared Goff would have had 176 yards throwing. He would have fumbled and threw picks. It would have been the same shit. David Blog gives you the uh the athleticism, the mobility, bro. And he got to eat it, though. Man, it's just, it's just, it's like they purposely doing it, bro. It's like they purposely don't want no fans, bro. They lose every game. I'm out. I'm out, bro. I ain't talking no more. I'm out. They don't win a game. I'm out, bro. Can't do it no more. Can't, can't put me through this pain no more because it's, it's like, it's like they taking a pistol and shooting their foot on purpose. Is that's what they doing? They losing on purpose, bro. It ain't like they tanking. They dumb. They dumb. Watch this. Watch this game, man. Tim Boyle should have been pulled after the first quarter, bro. The first throw he made, he should have been pulled. And Dan Campbell keep running the same screens. That's not working, bro. Just sweep. Oh, uh, play action to the run. Go to the tight end screen and go to the running back. Whoever was like, it's not working. You running the same ten plays. This ain't to remember the Titans. He, he calling the same. He ain't trying to move the pocket. He ain't trying to get him on the bootleg. You know, he, he, he ain't trying to throw jailbreak screen. He doing the same plays. Run inside. Running off the left and the right guard. Left on the left guard. Uh, toss play. Just we play action. Screen. Screen here. Screen there. Like, come on. And old boy has some bad plays too today. Josh Reynolds. But he's still getting the feel of things. You know? Look at it. Look. The heat and the positive was, you know, he did have some success on the Hawkinson today. But it was minimal. The way Hawkinson being used, it's not good enough for it to be a top 10 pick for a tight end. Six catches, 51 yards. He need to be being like Gronkowski's high vision. I envision them. But I mean, like I said, man, coach is stupid. They can't make simple personnel decisions while we expect them to make a uh, 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 simple um why would you expect him to make simple football decisions? Because he can't. Take that playbook and give it back to Lynn. Matter of fact, take a quarterback and give it. Come on. And they scapegoat empty Lynn, bro. And it wasn't even his fault, bro. You brought in Jerry Goff, Brad Holmes. But it is what it is. Not surprised. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Check the Detroit Lions post-game reaction playlist. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you got a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. All my social media subscription will make financial donation. Cash app, CJ Good313. Venmo, CJ Good313. PayPal with subscription. You can also check out the Detroit Lions Talk playlist as well as the post game reaction playlist. Other than that, want to make a financial donation? Cash app, well, I said that already.
Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you can find me on. Make sure to donate, thumbs up, share, subscribe to the channel, comment, thumbs up, hit the bell icon button, hit the subscribe button, hit all notifications, please change that. I'm going to go live, drop video.